Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee and as you may know if you've seen any of my other videos I am currently learning Unreal Engine so that I could create my own video game Which is called Sleepover at Sam's. It's a survival horror game set in the 80s Think it and Stranger Things vibes as well as creating my own game I am looking to create some tutorials to help other people learn how to use Unreal Engine to create their own games as well This is a very quick one today. It's just about using audio uh, in your levels in Unreal Engine now uh, What I'm also gonna do for people that are brand new. I'm just gonna show the process as I go through so let me just get these set up real quick okay so first thing you want to do if you are trying to add audio to your game is use something like freesound.org sign in create an account I think you might be able to use your Google account if you've got one search for um, you know whatever you're looking for wash machine noises is something I just search for then check the attribution uh, this is uh, do not use the sound for commercial purposes uh, so you just have to make sure that I'm gonna have to just change that if I wanted to use this in the game and Then uh, if it downloads as an mp3 or wav file Obviously if it's a WAV file you can go ahead and use it straight away If it's uh, an mp3 then you have to come to some th a website like this cloud convert just upload your file um, mp3 to WAV download and then it'll download as a WAV file Once you've got that just simply drag it into your game. I've created a sounds folder drag it in and then you've got the file and they're the two files I'm currently using. And then what you want to do is drag it into the level. Just like that. Make sure that you go in actually and search loop. If I can type loop, make sure looping is ticked. Then drag it into the level, which I already have over here. Then what you want to do is go over to the right under details and then you can adjust the volume here pitch if you wanted to adjust the pitch which I have not then you just want to click override attenuation then it will give you these some people recommend using natural sound I prefer linear for what I'm doing um, natural sound follows the camera more so as you're moving the camera around it will the volume will change more than it does on linear which is what i want and then you just adjust the radiuses the inner and outer radius so you've got this one as you can see it's getting bigger and smaller something like that works for me and then the outer one is this one which obviously again you can make larger or smaller once you've done that um that's pretty much everything and uh, you could go ahead and hit play and i've done it for the washing machine here and i've done it for a fan over here and set them up the way that i like them so if we hit play okay and then if we run around here quite faint but you can hear the fan still uh, based on where the camera is but linear is a bit better a bit less noticeable than the other one which I will show you now so if we stop playing and then if I change that from linear where well, from linear to natural sound which I think other people do tend to use linear natural sound but again it's all preference save play so it's much more dependent on where the camera is as to whether or not you can hear the audio now that might be the effect you want if so use natural sound if not use linear okay that's it thank you for watching the video guys make sure to like subscribe uh, comment all that good stuff remember to wishlist the game on steam and i'll see you in the next one thank you bye